Today, I'm going to show you how to create and use patterns using Adobe Capture for mobile. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is so cool. I'm going to show you how to use a mobile app on your phone. It's called Adobe Capture. You can use it to create things like brushes and patterns within the actual app and then sync it to your library in Photoshop. So we're going to make a quick pattern in today's episode. I'm going to show you how to do everything and then we're going to bring it wirelessly from the app into Photoshop and I'm going to actually use it as the background of our subject. We got a great episode guys. Let's go ahead and jump into our program. All right, guys, the first thing you're going to need is Adobe Capture on your mobile phone or iPad. Just go to your app store and you can download it. It's free, Adobe Capture. So let's go ahead and open it up. So I'm going to click here on Adobe Capture. Now, I've already signed in here. You want to make sure you're signed in with the exact same Adobe ID on your phone as well as on your computers. That's why it can sync wirelessly between the two. Now, here you can see you can actually create shapes here. You can create patterns, colors, brushes, and even looks. Now, we're going to be creating episodes on all these different things, but for now, we're going to click here on patterns. We're going to show you how easy this is. So I've got a uh, really nice little plant here. We're going to go ahead and create a pattern out of this plant. So first, let me go ahead and bring up this apple box here so we can get a background for our plant. Now, all I have to do is hit this little plus icon here, and it basically just brings up my phone. So from here, I've got a central hub. You can see right there in the center, that is the actual pattern that is going to be collected. Now, as I zoom in, you can see basically the pattern repeats over and over again. Now, these patterns are okay. You can see that you can definitely like see the edges between each pattern. What I like about this is you can click here on the bottom shapes. You can see clicking here on the bottom, it uses different parts of the image to create different types of patterns. Okay, and these are a lot less like they're a lot less noticeable, they're a lot more fun. So let's see, just kind of clicking through them, you can see zooming out and zooming in, and you can even change what gets included after you've taken your picture. All right, cool. I think that looks cool. So you can see like what a really cool pattern you can get out of a simple plant. All right, something like, yeah, that looks pretty cool there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the capture button here. There we go. And now we can still adjust this within the capture app. So I can move this little triangle around here and you can see I can scale it in or out and that's gonna change what actually happens with my pattern. Something like that I think looks really cool. You can use right down here, you have an angle adjustment so you can change the angle of your pattern as well. So yeah, let's go right to about there. I, I think that looks really nice. So you can see it's just a very quick, easy way to create patterns right on your phone. Okay. Now I'm gonna hit next here. There we go. It's gonna give us a little preview of our pattern. You can zoom in and zoom out, okay? In this case, I think that looks great. So let's hit next. There we are. And here's our original image, the name of our pattern. Let's just call this plant here. All right, plant. And now here you're gonna see your library. So this is synced to your Adobe Creative Cloud library. Now I've already created a library called Patterns. I'll show you how to create a new library. You can hit this plus icon on the top right. Okay, and we'll just call this plant. There we go, and hit okay. And then we can put it in the plant. So you can see library here now as plant. So I'm gonna hit save pattern. Now as soon as I hit save pattern, this is going to automatically sync with Photoshop as long as I have the Creative Cloud version, the newer versions of Photoshop installed. It's going to automatically sync and show up in my library. Now, you can sync it, and I can use it right now in Photoshop, but you can also share this link so anyone in the world can actually use this same pattern. So let me show you guys how to do that, and we're actually going to share this link so you guys can use the exact pattern from this episode. So let's simply click here on our pattern. Okay, we have a preview, we have info, and the image itself. Now here on the bottom left, you're gonna see a couple arrows with a plus, okay? You can add it to different libraries, okay? So if we wanna add it to our patterns library as well, so you can see now it's in our patterns library as well as in our plant layer library, okay? So let's go back to our library here. Let's click on patterns, there we go. Now clicking on here, so on the bottom left, that will add it to your different Creative Cloud libraries. Now here on the very bottom, I can hit send, okay? And here we can send this directly to Facebook, Twitter, and email. Now this is gonna send out a link 
that people can click on and then use this with their version of Photoshop or Illustrator, whatever supports patterns from Adobe Creative Cloud. Now you can also just hit copy link right here, which creates a public link to the clipboard. And this is the link we're going to be sharing. So if you guys want to download this exact pattern that we created in this episode, in this episode simply follow the link right down below to click on flurn.com to this episode. The link will be right there in the description. So you can download this very pattern uh, from today's episode. Okay, so that's really cool. Again, really simple to use. We can just see like, that's the entire process. So let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop where we can use this exact pattern to create a background for my subject. All right, guys, let's jump into Photoshop. All right, guys, so now jumping into Photoshop, we wanna use the pattern we created from our phone. And I'm gonna use it to actually replace the background here. We're gonna add a little pattern, make it look like she's on some wallpaper here. Okay, now to get to our pattern that we saved, we're gonna to go to Window and down to Libraries. There we go. And it's really important that you're signed in here with your Creative Cloud in the same login that you're signed in on the app. So it's gonna sync it all wirelessly. As soon as I save it from the app, it's gonna show up here in Photoshop. So here we are in our libraries. You can see I'm clicked on my plant library. There we go. And you can see this is our plant preset. Now we can remember we also created a duplicate of it here in the patterns library as well. So we have plant here in the patterns library. We're just going to simply click on plant. There we go. And it creates a pattern fill adjustment layer. And here I can change the scale of my actual pattern as well. So we can scale this up or down. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and hit OK there. And there we go. So the, basically what I just captured like two minutes ago using my phone of this exact plant is now created a pack pattern in our image. All right, so let's do a couple things here. I'm just gonna change this from normal down to soft light. All right, that looks pretty cool. And we're just gonna do a really quick job basically just painting black on our layer mask to get it to disappear from that area. So again, just painting a little bit of black. I'm, I'm doing this very quickly, guys. <laughs> the main part of this episode is to show you guys how you can use the mobile apps in conjunction with Photoshop to get some really cool stuff. So let's go ahead and there we go. Just paint this layer. And I'm just painting black on my layer mask here, which hides this layer anywhere I paint black. All right. And you could use all kinds of really nice selection tools and do a better job with this. I'm just doing a relatively quick job so we can see what we're doing here. All right. Very cool. So there we have it. That is our pattern now created as a background for our subject. You guys can see that took almost no time at all. And my favorite thing about this is you can bring your, you always have your phone around with you, right? So as you're like out and about in the world, you can capture different items with your phone and then bring them back here into Photoshop. So in this case, we did one pattern from this plant, but like as you're walking around, you can just chick, 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 capture patterns all day long. Really simple and fun to do. If you guys wanna do this on your own, just follow these key steps. First, go ahead and download Adobe Capture on your mobile device. It's free, so that's really nice. Sign in with your Creative Cloud ID using the same ID you're signed in on your computer. So anything that you make within the Capture app will directly sync with Adobe Creative Cloud on your desktop computer. From here, you can create shapes, patterns, colors, brushes, and looks. Now in this example, we're creating patterns. So go ahead and click on patterns, hit the capture button, and it's gonna use the camera in your phone to take a picture. Take a picture of anything and use the scripts down at the bottom to load different types of patterns. Once you've created your pattern, you can sync it directly with your Adobe Creative Cloud library, or you can use the share link to send it to anyone in the world. Feel free to download this exact pattern from flurn.com using the link down below. Now, once you've created your pattern on Adobe Capture for mobile, it's really easy to use on Photoshop on your desktop. Simply go to Window and down to Libraries. Now, here you're gonna see your different libraries. In this example, we added it to the library called Patterns, and we also added it to our library called Plant. So you can see either one of these libraries has our texture. Simply click on the texture right in your library's pattern. It's gonna create a texture fill layer. You can choose your scale, and then simply use a layer mask to make it visible exactly where you want it. It couldn't be easier. Guys, if you love Photoshop and photography as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question or a comment about today's episode, we'd love to hear from you. Leave it in the comment box right down below. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. You made such a nice pattern. I'm so proud of you. I'm the pattern master. All right. Good job.
job. Good, good job. <laughs>